I'm Amani. <laughs> and this is AZ. We... Hi, this is my show. <laughs> I'm here for moral I'm support. Kidding. It makes her it makes her even smarter than you. You might is. remember Amani uh, because she played Emma the Runaway I in did. episode four. Oh, I did. I talked to Lizzie May. We have been talking all day because we've been together all day and it's a wonder we haven't killed each other yet. We've been talking about um, this whole crazy SNL, Kenan Thompson, no black women in comedy thing. He oh. actually said that it's a problem in the industry when they see the black women in the auditions, they're just not ready. By the way, this is not us trying to say that we're hilarious and should be on SNL. I am not funny enough I, to be I on don't, SNL. I think if I had an audition for SNL, I'd just pee my pants and run away. Or just giggle uncontrollably. Or giggle and fart. I mean, maybe one day. We're, we're working on it. We are here to discuss this very important issue. Where are the black women in comedy? Where are the young black <laughs> women, like, anywhere on television? There isn't drama. We're very dramatic. We have a lot of feelings. We do have to say there are a lot of black women in comedy. So you just might not see them on TV, and if you don't live in Los Angeles, Chicago, or New York, you may not even know that they exist. Which is where SNL scouts, so we have to assume that they've seen them. And they have. I have several friends who are actresses who are black and they are funny. They've gone into audition for Saturday Night Live. I guess it's what Keenan said, they're either not ready or they don't fit what whoever is casting is looking for. Let's talk about comedy. Comedy has been male dominated forever. When it comes to black women, one of the fears that may actually keep black women away from comedy, you have to play stereotypes. That's what's funny about sketches. And as a black woman, like the stereotypes that we have, there's like two, ghetto, Angry, and angry ghetto. Angry ghetto, angry ghetto, sassy ghetto, loud ghetto. Lots of stuff about hair. I was in a class and my teacher, when he gave like themes or prompts for the scene, he gave basketball and weaves to me every time. That's what he thinks is gonna be funny about me. So, so this was a teacher telling you this, right? Right. Who was a, a white man. Right. And comedy is dominated by white men, so Naturally, whatever you write is going to be a reflection of your experience of the world. I mean, one of the questions is where are the black female writers or where are the whiters, the whiters, oh my god, <laughs> the writers who aren't white men. It's a problem. I had another class. There was a guy in the class and he was so excited to show me his sketch he had written. There was a character for me and he was like, her name is Shamiqua and she's ghetto. He was like so thrilled that he had written a character that I could play. I don't know if this is something people consciously, they consciously think about. Do it. They, but... they don't know what they're doing. That's why you need a diverse writer's room as well. These are all things we need to fix if we're going to see more black women in comedy. I feel very fortunate because uh, my parents are professionals. Generationally, I might be at a point where my parents are, they've, they've made it. They have ascended to the point where their children are entitled enough and have the right to go pursue their artistic dreams just like kids from other races or backgrounds. If my dad had told him his father he wanted to be an actor, he would have just laughed in his face and like put a cotton gin in his hand and been like, get back out there. I mean, he, my dad grew up on a, in a cotton field. Statistically, a lot of African Americans are not Black at that place. Black don't have any money. They don't have money. Black women make like the least amount of money. By the way, when SNL scouts for talent, they go to the major elite comedy schools. They need the top people that can, can hang on their stage. At those places, you're not gonna find many people of color because it's so expensive. It's so expensive. If there's only, 10% of white people that can afford it, then there's gonna be like 0.2% of black people that can afford yeah. it. And those 2% are gonna get a medical degree. They're not gonna get right. a comedy degree. There's except this thing unless they're crazy upward like Upward mobility. So maybe these are reasons why we're not seeing as many black women. Or maybe everyone's just racist. <laughs> and they just aren't picking them because they have biases that they don't even, they're not even aware of. The layers of the way our world is structured on every level, even on something as seemingly superficial simple. and simple as making people laugh. There's so much more there. There's a lot there.